Hello, and welcome to another episode of Short Stories with Stefan, a reading rainbow runway roller coaster dedicated to bringing you fictional fun in the fantastic form of free internet content. Let's get to it. The wide open rooms make it feel like I'm in someone's brain. I guess, in a way, museums are a glimpse into brains, a host of different methods, processes, visions, and drives. It's closer to a carnival hall of mirrors than a landing spot for epic art and talent. Walking from painting to painting inspires an internal monologue, where the lover of art casts his net to whatever side of his soul's vessel it desires. Each piece of art is an invitation to ponder. What was the artist thinking, feeling, seeing? And equally vibrant, the painter reaches out from the canvas and asks the observer what they think. How does their work speak to you, make you feel, wonder, or yearn? Me? I see a masterpiece, a true gift and stroke of genius on full display. Not in the traditional moral sense of the word genius. No, I stand in front of giant talent. I stand in front of pure genius. I stand captivated by a forgery. Did you know since 1980, more than 50 forgeries have been discovered at this museum alone? Here, I stand in awe at one of the most accomplished forgeries ever. Art forgery is the purest form of plagiarism. It is method acting meets con artist. It's Daniel Day-Lewis playing Donald Trump in a biopic that wins the Academy Award for Best Picture. Only I alone am its audience, standing, cheering, and weeping at its expression of art. How was my great-great-grandfather able to know this artist? How did he get into his skin, his thoughts, his bones, and his hands enough to move with the same brushstroke pattern, same colors, and the same choices? In this moment of acknowledgement of my familial lineage, pride fills me. A little boy comes up next to me to look at it too. He's searching it for meaning, scanning it for ways to connect it to his life. I leave him standing there, marveling at the work, and go home with a smile on my face. I smile as I work on this canvas. As my fingers dance alongside the different brushes, I smile thinking about art school. I smile thinking about how much this painting will sell for. And I smile a lot when I think about all the others out there the forgers, the liars, and the keepers of great secrets and great truths. You can only forge what you fully understand, and understanding in a world as chaotic as ours is an art in and of itself. Yet, when I paint with my own morally ambiguous brush, as the edges come into focus, the world feels more open, free, and inviting because of it. Thanks again for watching and listening to Short Stories with Stefan, a Koi Pond Studios production. Don't forget to hit the big trinity of an online entity, like, subscribe, and share. If you want to hear my thoughts about each story, check out the podcast too, anywhere you listen, for added commentary on these stories and more. And I'll see you next week for another original short story. Bye-bye.